And the search is over for the person who shot and killed a teen at DC's Brookland Metro Station last Thursday. Yesterday, police arrested a 16 year old for the murder of 14 year old Avion Evans. He'll be in court again this Friday. Our Jess Arnold joining us live from Brookland Metro Station this morning. And Jess, police say that surveillance footage actually played a big role in helping to catch him. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, they said the community really stepped up with tips after seeing that surveillance image that police released. Now, right now, officials are not releasing the name of the 16 year old who is being charged in this because of his age. But they said that he is being charged as a juvenile and the charges he's facing have to do with second degree murder. Now, as a refresher, police say that a group of teenagers got into a fight on a platform inside the Brookland Metro Station Thursday afternoon. That's when they alleged that this teenage suspect who was not involved in the fight approached them and shot Evans. The teenager charged with his murder had his first court appearance yesterday. Evans family stopped by the courthouse looking for more answers about what happened. His mom told our team last night that she wants the 16 year old to be charged as an adult. I was looking for justice for my son. Um, and as I say again, I don't know what other way that I can ask for justice for my son. And if I didn't, like, how can I be protecting him and caring for him? But nothing is going to bring my baby back. Again, it's a start. Um, I'm praying for all the families out there, you know, mothers and fathers in this situation. But um, I'm glad something, you know, have transpired. Avion Evans' mother says that her son was headed to an after school program when he was shot and killed. Now, the group The Trigger Project is working to prevent more tragedies like this one through a new program they started called Trigger Safe Rides. Coming up at 6, I'll show you how they are using this program to try to prevent more tragedies, again, like this one, by offering an alternative to public transportation. Annie? Jess Arnold reporting live. Thank you.